Alright. I don't really like having to use this camera right here. Uh, we're back on a power shot and reason for that is because the damn uh, M50 ain't never had no problems with this camera until yesterday. Whole video ruined. Audio is trashing this thing. So we're back on I think one of the final power shots that we got it's time to definitely get some new cameras and this thing looks like it's having a hard time focusing and it's on autofocus so what the hell neither here nor there this is not a tech review this is what's going on like i said video from yesterday that i had planned well that thing is shot the audio is all like <laughs> so that's not gonna work what are we gonna do today it's saturday morning as i begin this and we're gonna go see rabbit that's what we're going to do. I've been reading the comments. Oh, Joe, how long are you going to continue to milk this rabbit thing for? Whether you believe it or not, it's not about that. I genuinely do want to see this man do the right thing and continue to be on the right track. And I hope that he is. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not sure that he is. Uh, there was a post in Facebook on the After Prison Show fan page yesterday from Rabbit saying that he went to, an, uh, to, a, to a meeting yesterday. And he told me that yesterday, too, before he went. Uh, because I've been in contact with him. But he told me that he was going to a meeting yesterday and he said he was picking up a chip. So I want to see the chip today. That would be nice. And maybe that'll, you know, prove some things. Regardless, there's a lot of things that I haven't put out there. And I'm not trying to milk this rabbit situation. What I am trying to do is figure out, you know, what's the best thing to do at this point? Just leave well enough alone? You know, I asked Rabbit this question yesterday. I said, I want to ask you something. And I just want your opinion because I've been asking myself this. I said, do you think that it would have been better if I would have just left well enough alone? Just washed my hands of you from, you know, the beginning of all of this instead of carrying it out the way that we did where you went to the detox and then everything that happened after that. And he says, no, I don't think that you should have left well, well enough alone. He says that I saved his life, which I don't want to say that I saved his life. He saved his own life going to the detox program. But what is he doing right now? There have been numerous halfway house opportunities for this man. And none of these have panned out, whether he hasn't been accepted or whether he hasn't want, wanted to go himself. Regardless, where is he staying right now? Well, he has a place to stay. He tells me that he's living at one place and somebody else tells me he's living at another place. Like it's, This is why I say I'm having a hard time believing like things are okay. And there's plenty more too, but I'm not going to get into any of that. Let's just start with that initial thing. Why has it got to be a secret where, where Rabbit is at? Unless it's not a good place. But hopefully it is, right? Hopefully it is. So here's what I want to do. I want to go talk with Rabbit today. Um, I guess I want to figure out today whether I need to just, I don't want to say wash my hands of rabbit because he is my friend and I want to see the absolute best for this man, but whether I just need to back off. And the way that I'm going to do this is one, I want to see that poker chip that he got from the NA meeting last night. And the second thing is... And I don't even know how this is going to go and, and, or what the reactions of this are going to be. But if you are doing the right thing, which he tells me he is doing the right thing, I want to ask him to take a drug test. And I know I ain't no PO. I've got no right to do that. So if he says that he doesn't want to do it, that's fine. He has said in the past, though, he's going to start charging for drug tests. So I'm willing to pay him $100 today to prove that he's clean. I think that's a pretty fair trade. And if... He's not, well, there's the answer that I need right there. If this does not go well, this will be time to back off. So I don't want any more questions after this if this does play out bad. You know, where's Rabbit or anything like that, you guys know, like, it just, this is what it is. You know, the difference between this situation and so many situations in the past where it was the truth about this person or why I had to cut ties here and I just did it. The, the difference here is one, it's Rabbit. This is a good friend of mine, somebody I consider like a brother. And then two, hey, we got full transparency on all of this. Full transparency. Maybe I should have just 
cut ties. Maybe that would have been the best thing to do. I hope this man is doing well. But I question, and I'm skeptical, as to whether or not he really is. So hopefully today we can get a concrete answer in terms of, is it time to just wish you well? Or is it time to congratulate you and say, hey, I'm sorry that I doubted you, man. You are doing fantastic and keep it going. Ultimately, you can't change what anybody's going to do, and they're going to do what they want to do regardless, and I know that. I'm not trying to change anybody. I don't have the capability to do that, but I need to know for myself. I want a conclusion to all of this. So again, I'm hopeful that today we'll get that. All right, we are over at the storage facility right now, and we've got Rabbit with us. Haven't seen Rabbit in a little while, and we're gonna be getting an update with him today, seeing how he's been doing, seeing where he's been, seeing just what the heck is going on with him. But without further ado, it is Rabbit. It absolutely is. And it's Rabbit in a different form, and you've seen him in quite a while. Ah, let's talk about that form, Rabbit. All right, um, I'm strong, I'm healthy, and I'm clean. And I feel pretty damn good. I don't have to wake up every morning and stick a spike in my veins just to feel normal again. Well, I'm glad to hear that. All right, I want to uh, address a couple of things. We're going to address probably a good amount of stuff in this. But the first thing that I want to start with is the last video that we did together. Right. We're probably going to bounce around a little bit with this. You know, after we did that video and got what you had to say, got what Jellico had to say, what I had to say about the situation, you know, I know you saw that video. I know you saw that comment section, and that comment section was pretty rough. Hey, they need to be rough on me. I mean, don't don't be soft on somebody that's screwing up, John. You know what I mean? Be rough on them, man. Make them get help. You know. It's that was one of my my thoughts on it because I, I genuinely did feel bad about the situation. I thought to myself, I can't even imagine what it would be like for you to see that comment section, and everybody was basically just. Uh, they were upset. Let's just say that they were upset. Everybody had a lot of things to say, but it seems like you handled it, I guess, pretty well. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's kind of weird, man. Everybody out there that's involved in this story knows what's best for Rabbit. You know what I mean? There's a hundred million people out there that know what's best for me. And, I, and I'm going to tell y'all what, I know what's best for me. And I'm working it right now. Um, all the negative comments, man. Crazy, man. Just they give me more inspiration to keep pushing. Hold on one second. My lazy ass. I gotta get a chair, man. All right. I ain't gonna be standing up filming this video. Hey, anybody need a dining room set? Cause uh, I thought we had a sale on this sucker today. Eight hundred dollars firm. Nine hundred. <laughs> <laughs> How's it firm? I gotta make a ball. <laughs> yeah, Rabbit, don't worry, I got it, man. I, got it. I was hoping you could. Ain't but a chair, Joe. Damn. I better held the camera for you. Yeah, you could have. Damn, watch I didn't think. Watch you struggle. Uh, that was the first thing right there. You mentioned that everybody had, you know, something to say about the situation. Can we go a little bit deeper with that? Because me and you were talking on the ride over here, and without going too crazy with this, you know, you've seen and I've told you that there are a lot of other people who have had opinions about the situation uh maybe it's ideas maybe it's that they could help that they could do more the joe ain't got a clue what he's doing here and this is not to make me sound like i've got it here okay well so i'm pretty sure i know what you're talking about you know the, some of the people some of the comments some of the things people have had to say and um you know I'm gonna go ahead and put it out here like this, okay? Some of the people out there who have made comments or said that they should have done this or they were gonna do this or whatever the case may be, just look over most of that like you don't even see it. Just let it get by you, okay? That's all I'm gonna say without saying anything derogatory or anything like that. But I will say that there are a few people in my circle right here that have been with me from day one, you know, and um, 
with all due respect and all the love in the world to Mr. Joseph Guerrero, I had missed a beat with that guy, man. We've been through our ups and downs, back and forth, and you couldn't believe it, more than you could ever imagine. That man's always been there for me, stride by stride, anytime I need help. He's done everything in his power to help me. Greatly appreciate him, man. I have all the love in the world for Mr. Guerrero. Also, boy, that's what I am now, Mr. Guerrero. That's right. I mean, mm. the PO. Well, oh, you ain't even seen it yet. But uh, so real quick, I I appreciate those kind words and that sentiment right there. But you don't have to. I'm not. That's not what I'm looking for. I was just looking for. I guess we're just beating around the bush with this whole thing right here. But it doesn't even matter. You know, there's people who have been there, and there's people who think that they could be there, they should be there, and that they could do more. Right. But the reality of the situation is, it ain't none of us going to be able to do for Rabbit what Rabbit's going to do for himself. Absolutely. And, I, and, and that goes to say that until I am truly ready to leave the drugs alone, which I have already done, thank you so very much, um, nobody can make me not use if I want to. Just like I, nobody can stop me from using if that's what I want to do. Just like nobody can make me use, because nobody can make me do anything that I don't want to do. I think that came out right. I was a little, I, I, it came out right, but I want to say this as well, real quick off subject. Yo, where the hell did you get that watch at? Man, bro. Oh, man. Trying to sport me, man. I mean, damn, that's a nice ass watch, Rabbit. It is a nice watch. It's an Invecta. An Invecta? Yeah. All right, well, anyways. I inherited it. I'm sure the person who it belongs to would be like, no, I'm kidding. No, the person that it belongs to is wearing it. There you go. But anyway, so, uh, you know, Joe, you've been there with me, man. You've helped me through so many things I can't even imagine. I can't even begin to, you know, explain it. Yeah, I don't even want to go there. Anyway, thank you. You, you have uh, definitely been by my side. And well, I've tried to be there to help you as well. And, and you have been. You've definitely been there in the past, yeah. and I do greatly appreciate that. And I would never, you know, say anything else right. sideways about that. Um, excuse me. Also, not to cut you off. I apologize. No, you're good. Also, uh, uh, Ann and Jellico have been there for me quite a bit. And uh, that too is greatly appreciated, man, because when you, when you got people that really care, that reach out to help you in your time of need, that means everything. Man. You know, there are a lot of people, let's just go ahead and put this out there, there are a lot of people who think that Jellico is a horrible uh, person for you to be involving yourself with. What is your response to that? My response is that you don't know that guy like I do. Let's talk about your living situation. Okay. So, couple of halfway house opportunities, program opportunity, none of those worked out, but you have found somewhere to stay, a stable place to stay? Most definitely. I'm in a, I'm in a very good environment right now with people who have my best interests at heart and are helping me and making sure that I'm making my meetings that I need to get to. And, and you know, it's just, it's astronomical the way people can help out sometimes. And, and I'm in a good place. And uh, I don't know how long I'll be here. You know, I'm taking it day by day. Once I get, you know, get my feet under my ass and I know I'm doing all right, I'm going to find something else and, and then keep moving up the chain. You know? I'm going to get where I want to get at eventually. It's going to take a while, I know. But eventually I will be where I want to be at. I hope so. I really want to see that for there you. There won't be no drugs involved. You know, we had a conversation on the ride over here, Rabbit, and I said, you know, I never want to hear that you've passed away. I never want to hear that you got locked up. I hope that you will remain clean. I hope that you are remaining clean. And I guess all of that is a good lead into something that I want to say, and I don't want you to take this the wrong way, Rabbit, but I want to believe you. I want to know that things are okay for you. But I also know that I can't force you, nobody can force you, nobody can make you do anything that you don't want to do. Like we said, you're going to do what you, you're the person who can do the best for you. I want to believe that everything is good. 
But you know, of course, I'm going to be skeptical. I'm, I'm going to have to question. And you don't owe me a damn thing to prove nothing to me. I'm not, you know, I'm not saying that you do. But I want to believe. And I know that there's so many people who are part of After Prison Show, they want to believe as well. And maybe they don't, whatever. But the fact of the matter is, you know, I truly want to believe. You made a post yesterday on the Facebook fan page talking about the fact that you went to a meeting. I've been going to meetings. I just uh, decided to say something about it. You know, I, I decided to take a trip yesterday to a meeting, man. Uh, I like the group. You know, it's a home group. And uh, I might... I might make that a regular spot. You get a chip from the meeting. You know, can we can we see the chip? I know you probably don't have it on I you, but I don't have it on, but you can definitely see it. I'll show it to you as soon as we get back. I'll go get it and show it to you. I greatly appreciate that. I think that that will, you know, that'll do a little bit to help me believe, and should help other people believe as well. Absolutely. So I appreciate that. Um, you've been staying clean. Yeah, and I'm going to continue. Nope. <laughs> you know, uh, naysayers and people had their own opinions, and I get it. You know, it's okay. You're allowed to have your own opinion, man. Right? I can't make up your mind for you and tell you what to believe or think. But I can tell you this. I don't care whether you believe that I'm clean or not. I don't care. And I don't care whether you think that I'm, you know, I just, I'm clean. I know that I'm clean. And I'm the only one that really needs to know what's going on with me. Because I'm the only one that can change me. I control my own destiny. You're right about that. So I guess m me saying that I am skeptical and I want to believe because I truly do, I need to know where I'm at with you. And I mentioned this on the ride over here, Rabbit. You know, if I feel like you're going back down a path that ain't no good, it ain't my business at that point anymore. Because you will do what you're going to do. Yes. And I don't say that in a bad way or a negative way, but that's just the truth and the fact of the matter. I want you to prove to me, I want you to prove to everybody that you're doing what you are doing for you and you're, you're on the right track. And I also want you to do this more so for me so that I know where me and you are, okay? Because there have been things that I've been questioning. Maybe I'm just an overtly paranoid or untrusting person I don't honestly know what to say about it but there are some things so you say that you're willing to show the chip and I think that that goes a long way and I'm not trying to beat around the bush I'm gonna to get to what I want to say and what that is is you know prove that you're clean rabbit okay. you mentioned before that you know we had done the piss test in the past and you said forget the piss yeah. test you've passed the piss test in the past let's make Maybe sure that well. we had, we Let's make sure that we address that. Every one of them. But you also said that... But I wasn't using at that time, you know. Well, anyway, good. You also said that, and you mentioned this recently, before all of what we've been going through lately. But you mentioned, you said, you know what, if y'all want me to piss, you're going to pay me to piss. Damn right. And I still say that. So I'm going to pay you to piss. All right. I'm going to give you $100 to take this piss test today. All right. And if you pass this piss test then that proves to me, that proves, that should prove to a lot of people because we haven't seen you in a couple of days. So look, you're right. So make sure you let all them guys out there, don't you? I let them all know out there. I take this piss test, he's going to give me $100 for it, but you don't get the results till all y'all send me $100 too. No, that ain't the way that it works, Rabbit. But I mean, if I'm clean, I mean, support me for being clean. I'm going to support you for being clean. They're going to support you for Absolutely. being clean. I'm willing to give you $100 to prove this. You don't have to do this. Um, I'm nobody to ask you to do this. It ain't even my business. I will say, though, it'll go a long way to proving to people what's, what's up. Man, I wouldn't give up. Any test you got, bro, I don't care. I, I have absolutely nothing in my system. Maybe we, other than that, nothing in my system. So... Would you be willing to do this? Absolutely. <laughs> no questions asked. This is something that I've contemplated. This is something that I know a lot of people are going to give me shit about. Joe, you got no right to do this. I don't have any right to do this. But I said that I want to know for myself. I want everybody to know. And I want to know that where I stand with you. 
I don't ever want to have to wash my hands of you, rabbit. Mm -hmm. But if I find out that you're, you know, going back to the old ways, which is totally on you, I'm nobody to try to, you know, get loud or say, damn it, rabbit, or whatever. Because it's your life. But I want to know, do I need to stand back? Or should I be really... I just want to know, you know. Well, you know, either way, whatever happens, you know, you're uh, you're going to make your own judgment as to what you need to do when you see the results that come out of that piss test. So, until then, I mean, you can't know what to do. You can't figure it out. <laughs> I mean, Joe, I'm going to tell you like this, brother. There is absolutely no way in hell that I will use heroin again. My arms are healed, dude. Damn, look, man. No more holes in my arms, you know what I'm saying? I, I hate the way that this is going to sound. I mean, it is colder outside today, but when I came and picked you up today and I saw the long sleeve on... Let me roll them up a little bit more so you can get a better look at them. <laughs> I don't see anything. Yeah, and you, but, and you ain't going to. I don't see anything. Nothing. I tell you, man, I'm, I'm done, you know? When I tell you, I, when, I, when you make up your mind, uh, when a man or a woman, whatever, makes up their mind that they're going to do something, once your mind is made up that you're going to do whatever it is, that is what you're going to do and no one can stop you. Once a person makes up their mind that whatever situation it may be, that they're not going to do something, nobody can make them do it. You're right. You're absolutely right about all of that, and I want to get this test, and I want to get these results. Yeah. For me, for everybody else who's got something to say about this, and so that we got a clear understanding of what's going on, and that you're doing what you need to do. And if you're not, then you're not. Right. So let's go get this test. Alright, we're up in a truck, and it's me and Rabbit. Peace, everybody. See how clear my eyes are? Oh, that's right. I'm getting high. Look how clear these things are, man. Look. Mm. Very clear. Thank you. Well, uh, we're up here at Rite Aid. We just got the test. So, I'll show you guys that real quick. Bing. Ooh. Home drug test. This thing tests for four different things right here. It tests for marijuana, cocaine, methamphetamine, and opiates. So this is what we got right here. Now we just were over there across the street over at the Walgreens and they were all out of test. So I walked in there, I asked somebody where the tests were at. They said, they showed me they were all out. So I was walking out and the guy working in the photo area, I didn't even know you still had a photo place in these stores. But anyways, the guy looking working in the photo area, Rabbit, was he grilling me in there? He was. He, looked, he was eyeballing you like you were stealing, bro. Yeah, so I cussed him out on the way out talking about, what the F you looking at me like that for? No, you did. Stop lying, man. You was nice, man. Stop lying. I said something, though, didn't I? Yeah, to me, you ain't say it too loud, though. <laughs> I, was, I was protected behind you the You meant glass. to say it, though. You meant to say it loud. I know you did. Damn, Rabbit. What else you want to tell? Nah, man, I ain't tell nothing else. All right, so we're going to go back to the storage facility and have, we're going to do this over there. And, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And if all of this comes back good, then hell yeah. That's what we're hoping for. And maybe this will be a, not maybe, this will definitely be a major a show and tell. This will definitely be a major show and tell. So, let's go back and let's get this done. And try not to get uh, pulled over. Question. Again. Does your storage facility have any water in it, running water or anything? Uh-uh. Good. No, that's that's good. Why I want to use that. That's why I've been saying that's why you know you can't be tricked up. Alright. Uh you also have a drink right there, that sweet tea. I'll We're gonna leave, leave that. I'll leave that in I'll leave that. Wherever you want me to leave it at, I won't take it over. So Alright. Yeah, so there's no water, there's gonna be no way to do anything with this and you know Rabbit's willing to take this test, so I think that that proves a lot right there already. I'm right. It's been so long since I smoked any weed. I might not even have any weed in my system. Well, awesome. Tell your pro uh, that's a coin toss. I already told my PO I smoked a little weed. Oh, I was about to say, tell your PO that Guer PO Guerrero 
got you taken care of today. I'm good, man. Ain't no doubt about it. Tell my people. And, and when I go to do a piss test next time, I'm gonna learn to just call you how to number. All right, let's go do this. Say something to the camera. Tell him you got the camera, rabbit. I jacked the camera from Joe, y'all. I just want to let you know that. Look, we're gonna look up in this storage unit right here. Cause uh, here, get this out of here. I want to make sure there's nothing in here at all that I can use to jack this test up. Anything at all. Anything, nothing, anything. All right, shout out to Rabbit the Cameraman right there. So we're back over at the storage facility. This $900 dining room table is going to come in handy right here. So, yes, it is. Let's just go ahead and show you guys this. This thing still has the seal on it. We got to bust this plastic seal. It's not been opened. Hey. And, it, and again, this is the four test. They had one that had 16 on it, but I think that these are the four. I mean, it really don't much matter as long as it got what we're looking for on there. Yeah, I mean, this is it. I think this video is going to be called Prove It. Okay, you want to open it? I don't have my knife. I don't carry a knife no more. I mean, not all the time. Man. Didn't you leave a knife in my truck? No, uh, I thought I did. I thought you did too, but did I you ever grip? I looked and I didn't see it. I figured that you wouldn't, you know, you wouldn't mess with it. No, like I said, we did get so, the truck cleaned out the other day. I was wondering if somebody else got it. Ain't no telling. Hey, that's like opening up Christmas. All right. All right, boy, this is just like the joint from the probation. Hey, hey. All right, so we're going to see what this says. We pretty much know what it is. So two lines, no matter how faint those lines are. Make sure y'all can see what these directions say. Two lines, no matter how faint, is a negative. When a visible line appears for both, when two lines appear for both, even a very faint line, it's a negative result. One line is a positive, and then one line on the bottom is invalid. So I don't know what that would mean. Maybe the test is bogus or something. So one line on the top is positive, two lines, no matter how faint, that's negative. And these results are gonna be available in probably Three minutes. 10 minutes. 10 minutes. It says 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. All right, so where's the tester? You peel from the right to reveal the results. So here you go, man. Okay. And that's just if we wanted to send it into the lab. You can do that too. I don't give a shit. Which we ain't worried about. <laughs> that. All right, that's you. All right. Mm -hmm. Good deal. You're saying a lot me. I mean, talk to me then. <laughs> You want to hold it, boss? <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, we're going to stand over here. I ain't looking at you, so. Yeah, I know. I mean, I would hope you wouldn't, John. I wouldn't. You know, I kind of figured you were straight. You got like don't take the thing off the side, though. Why not? It says don't take it off yet. Oh, I ain't taking it off, boss. I ain't taking it off. I got this, boss. I ain't taking it off of it at all. I know one thing though, this shit, whoo! You good? Yep. <clears throat> Alright, we gotta wait 10 minutes and then we're gonna peel it off. Alright. So we're gonna let that set up. Okay, let's get a cigarette. Let's set right there. 
I think I'm even going to leave the camera recording this whole time. Just so there ain't no cutscene for this. I'm actually going to leave the camera right back here on the test. I'm going to maybe like time stamp this or something where you guys can just skip ahead or if you want to watch paint dry. There's where you can do it. Uh, what you're looking at right there, if you can see that, I know it's kind of blurry, but you can see the two faint lines. That's just an example right there, so that's not the actual test. All right, we'll be back in about 10 minutes. Thank you. 
Mike. He's way better, man. Way better with that. It's good to see you wearing the watch. But let that be a sign of the shit you have, man. The fact that you trust me to wear that, that's me. The fact that you trust me to wear it, no one in the brother, nigga, might fuck up at any time. You know what's going to happen? You know what I'm saying? But he got enough faith in me to know that I don't know what the fuck shit. That means a lot. All I ask, all I ask, man, is just keep it, you know, no matter what, you're just fucking up with that, man. You straight up without a man, you don't have no help ever. You know what I'm saying? You should see that. You should see that first name. No, it's not. I mean, I'm even getting away from it. You can't see it. All right, we should be almost there. Maybe like, uh, we're going to give it two more minutes. Two more minutes, all right. You 
We should be there right now. Yep. All right. So we left the camera rolling this entire time. That was 10 minutes for this test. We're going to go ahead and peel this label off. Ready? Yep. So you got to peel it from this side. Yep. Like this. And what do you got there? I don't know. Negative on everything. Imagine that. Son of a bitch. Look at that. Not even a faint line on any of these. This test for THC, opiates, cocaine, and meth. And look at the color. Make sure you know what color it is. It's piss color. Straight out of my ass. Or out of Whoa. My, out of my... Yeah, you know, I, I can't... I mean, cut <laughs> that was kind of funny. Yeah. Well, I mean, my body. I'm, I could have put it out. Anyway, have at it, brother. You guys can see that, right? Like, uh, make sure you see that. Just so you know, all y'all owe me a hundred bucks. <clears throat> Just send it to me. Y'all need my PayPal information. I mean, my uh, what's it called? What's that one? Cash out. I'll give you my cash out. Everybody out there that looks at this test, you owe me a hundred bucks. And that won't be used to get high either. Because I'm not getting high no more. <sighs> so look, let's address a couple of things real quick. Absolutely. First of all, address, hey, thank you. Thank you for doing that. Thank you for proving that to me. Thank you for just proving that. I had my doubts. There's an intro that I filmed on this video that you're going to be seeing, and I'm very skeptical. Very skeptical. Okay, so you had this plan the whole day. Don't lie. No, I had this plan. Okay. Nobody knew about this plan. Okay. Did you know about this plan? Absolutely not. You hit me with this right here. <laughs> Look, I'm proud of you, man, and thank you for proving Last this. Time. Thank you for alleviating my concerns. And this is definitely going to put some naysayers to bed. And I was a naysayer as well. Skeptical at the very least. Well, all of the naysayers, including you yourself, have a right to be. Because I have been proven that I've been getting high before. Okay? That has been proven. I mean, you got a right to be skeptical. The fact that you left the program and that you didn't, you know, these halfway houses didn't work out. But we addressed something very important at the beginning of this, and that was only you know what's right for you. You better believe it. And I know that what I'm doing right now is right for me. You see this clean, don't you? It's got to be right. Otherwise, man, you'd be uh, talking to me about why all this shit's dirty, right? Yeah, yeah, we would be talking about that. There you go. Thank you for doing this. Thank you for proving this to me. Thank you for proving this to everybody else. Absolutely. Anything that you want to say to me, to to the world? Yeah. Um, you know, anytime you feel like you need to give me one of these piss tests or whatever it is, you know, from here on out, it's going to be like this here. If I'm dirty, I'm going to tell you I ain't taking it. If I'm clean, I'll take it. So that's where we stand at on that. That's it and that's all. Okay? Now... For all you guys out there that love me and rock with me, man, you know I love you too and I rock with all you guys. Number two, for all you guys out there that don't rock with me, I'm okay with that because y'all are the ones that give me this inspiration to piss clean today. That's greatly appreciated. No doubt. Um, thank you for proving this to me and thank you for proving this to everybody else. You know, you definitely, you gained a lot 
you gained a lot of trust from me here today. I'm giving you $100 for taking this test today. Um, I don't have to do that on camera, right? No. But you know I'm going to give you that money. Absolutely. Because uh, you ain't going to let me not give you that money. No. <laughs> uh, and then when people out there, la la la, I ain't going to let them not give it up either. No. Nah. But, no, all jokes aside, um, damn it, man, there was something else that I wanted to say about this. Oh, yeah, what we talked about during the 10-minute interview interval when we were waiting for the results to come back. I said, Rabbit, I said, don't let this be a get-out-of-jail-free card for you to say, well, I just proved it to everybody, and Joe just gave me 100 bucks, so... So this is what I got to say to that, to you guys, because I already told this guy. If I didn't get high... Four days ago, three days ago, two days ago, yesterday, today, I'm not high. When I wake up in the morning, I'm not going to get high today. When I wake up in the morning, I'll decide what my day's going to be like. And if I decide that I'm not going to get high tomorrow, that's another day. Some people will be like, oh, Rabbit's definitely going to go get high tomorrow. Hold on one second. Let me stop and start this. Sorry, we were out of, sorry, we were out of time right there. I had to start and stop. Some people are probably going to say, oh, Rabbit's definitely going to go get high tomorrow. And whatever, Rabbit, you know what you need to do for you. And I think the best way that I can take what you're saying right there is you're taking this thing one day at a time. Absolutely. And besides the fact, uh, this, besides that fact, I'm definitely taking one day at a time because I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow or the next day. I don't know what's going to trigger me. I don't know what's going to keep me off and make me go high. I'm an addict. I'm, I'm, I'm not getting high today. And I know that. Tomorrow, hopefully it'll be the same way. But for all you guys that think I'm really high to bar, I tell you what, I'll give you another piss test tomorrow if you want it. No, I can't or afford to keep day, doing these. Or the next day, and if it's clean, I'm gonna send me some money, man. I will tell you this, and please take this as love. Please don't take this as distrust. Rabbit, you know because you've been we've been rocking together for about two years now. You do not know when I'm coming with that piss test. I swear I don't. I didn't know you were coming today. And I want you to keep that in mind. I told you you caught me off guard. I said, damn, you caught me off guard with this one, bro. I didn't expect it. I knew the whole time that's what I was leading up to talk to you about. Right. And wherever we went from there was going to be where we went from there. Yeah, I kind of figured it after you kept beating around the bush. I knew you had something else on your mind. But take this as love because I'm going to be the one who's checking up on you. Right. And, and, and one more thing. I want to say this as well. Just like you said, you have to take this day to day. Just keep it real with me. Okay, that's all I ask. If you're struggling, if something happens, just keep it real. Because you know more than anybody because of what you've gone through with this whole transparency situation of you going and admitting that you had a problem, going to detox, all of that. You saw the love and support that you had mm -hmm. when you owned what the situation was. And I'm not saying that you're going to go mess up. Mm -hmm. But if something does happen... Try to talk to me. Absolutely. I'll tell you this. I'm going to keep it 100 no matter what. Just like I've been doing. You know, it took me a while, man, to tell you about it. I mean, goddamn, a drug addict ain't going to tell you he's getting high when he's ready to get high again. You know? So, uh, but when, when a drug addict is ready to quit getting high, that's when he's going to let you know that he needs the help. Hey, look, man, I just want to shake your hand, Rabbit, because what you just did here today, you proved to me, and thank you for doing that, man. Absolutely, man. I want to see the best for you, but I realize I can't do nothing that you ain't going to do for yourself. I can't do it. They can't do it. He can't do it. She can't do it. Let that go out to everybody who thinks they got the damn answers. Mm -hmm. Only you can do it. For everybody out there, one more time, this is what he needs. This is what he needs. This is what I need. Me, my thoughts, my heart, and all the support and inspiration and love that I get from you guys. That's what I need. Well, let's go ahead and wrap this thing up, Rabbit. Thank you for proving this. Thank you for doing what you need to do for you. Absolutely. No doubt. And uh, thank you for giving me the opportunity to show everybody that I'm still not high. Hell yeah. Peace. All right. So we're dropping rabbit off right now. And in conclusion, one final thing to all of this is mm -hmm. the chip. Oh, yeah. What's that chip represent? 
should reference this a new beginning. Hell yeah, man. Well, Rabbit, I'm super proud of you. Thank you for everything that you did today. Thank you for everything that you've been doing for you, the most important thing. Absolutely. And I want to reiterate this one more time for everybody out here. You know, whether you rock with me or not, I still love you. And number two is nobody can change me. Nobody can make me be someone that I'm not. And nobody can make me do something that I don't want to do. I'm the only one that knows what's best for me. Well, I'm going to look forward to talking with you again real soon, Rabbit. And Absolutely, and I appreciate you getting together with you today, brother. Hell yeah. We'll be seeing you again real soon. I hope so, man. Absolutely. Lose the doubts. Slowly but surely. Damn right. Peace. I'm out of here.